I am going to talk about the metabolism of lipids, beta oxidation and cholesterol metabolism. Lipids play a variety of cellular roles, some only recently recognized. They are the principal form of stored energy in most organisms and major constraints of cellular membrane. The ability to synthesize a variety of lipids is essential to all organisms. The fatty acids in the body are mostly oxidized by beta oxidation. Cholesterol is an essential molecule in many animals including humans and is available easily through the diet. Cells can easily synthesize from simple precursors. The objective of the module is to define beta oxidation, to study the metabolism of lipids, to get deep knowledge about cholesterol. Before starting, you have to know definition of beta oxidation. Beta oxidation may be defined as the oxidation of fatty acids on the beta carbon atom. This results in the sequential removal of a two carbon fragment that is acetyl CoA. The beta oxidation of fatty acids involve three stages. The first one, activation of fatty acids occurring in the cytosol, transport of fatty acids into mitochondria. Third one, beta oxidation in the mitochondrial matrix. First you are starting with activation of fatty acid. Fatty acids reacts with ATP to form acyl adenylate, which then combines with coenzyme A to produce acyl CoA. In the activation, two high energy phosphates are utilized. Since ATP is converted to pyrophosphate, the enzyme inorganic pyrophosphatase hydrolase PPI to phosphate. The immediate elimination of PPI makes this reaction totally irreversible. The figure. The fatty acid, everybody knows RCH2 C double bond OOH. The fatty acids reacts with CoA in the presence of ATP, formation of fatty acyl adenylate. Then it is converted to fatty acyl CoA. Next one, the transport of fatty acids into mitochondria. Fatty acids enters into the mitochondria via the acyl carnitine or carnitine transporter. After fatty acyl carnitine is formed at the outer membrane or in the intermembrane space, it moves into the matrix by facilitated diffusion through the transporter and the inner membrane. In the matrix, the acyl group is transferred to mitochondrial coenzyme A. Free carnitine return to intermembrane space through the same transporter. Acyl transferase 1 is inhibited by melanyl CoA. The first intermediate in the fatty acid synthesis. This inhibition prevents the simultaneous synthesis and degradation of fatty acids. Cytosol, that is the outer membrane. In the inner membrane, the intermembrane space fatty acyl carnitine is transported into fatty acyl CoA. After that, that in the presence of coenzyme A, that will be transferred into fatty acyl CoA. Beta oxidation in the mitochondrial matrix. Each cycle of beta oxidation liberating two carbon unit acetyl CoA occurs in the sequence of four reactions. The first one, oxidation. Number two, hydra hydration. Number three, oxidation fourth one cleavage. First we will start with oxidation. Acyl CoA undergoes dehydrogenation by an FAD dependent flavoenzyme acyl CoA dehydrogenase. A double bond is formed between O and P carbon atom that is second and third carbon atom. After dehydrogenation that will be second step is go to hydration. Enoyl CoA hydratase brings about the hydration of the double bond to form beta hydroxy acyl CoA. The third stuff, the beta hydroxy acyl CoA dehydrogenase catalyzes the second oxidation and generate NADH. The product formed is beta keto acyl CoA. The final step is cleavage. The final reactions in the beta oxidation is the liberation of two carbon fragment acetyl CoA from acyl CoA. This occurs a thiolytic cleavage catalyzed by beta keto acyl CoA thiolase. The new acyl CoA containing two carbon less than the original re-enters the beta oxidation cycle. The process continue till the fatty oxidation is completely oxidized. The overall result in the conversion of 16 carbon chain of falmitate to 8 2 carbon acyl group of acetyl CoA molecule. Formation of each acetyl CoA requires removal of 
four hydrogen atom, two pairs of electron, and four hydrogen atom from the fatty acid moiety by dehydrogenation. Beta oxidation occurs primarily within mitochondria. Before beta oxidation begins, each fatty acid is activated in a reaction with ATP and CoAASH. The enzyme that catalyzes this reaction, acyl CoA ligase, is found in the outer mitochondrial membrane because the mitochondrial inner membrane is impermeable to most acyl CoA molecule. A special carrier called carnitin is used to transport acyl groups into the mitochondria. Stages of fatty acid oxidation. The figure shows different stages of fatty acid oxidation. In the first stage of beta oxidation, fatty acid undergo oxidative removal of successive two carbon unit in the form of acetyl CoA, starting from the carbonyl end of fatty acid chain. For example, the 16 carbon palmitic acid undergoes seven passes through the oxidative sequence in each pass lasting two carbon as acetyl CoA. At the end of seven cycle, the last two carbon of palmitate originally C15 and C16 remain as acetyl CoA. The overall result in the conversion of 16 carbon chain of palmitate to eight two carbon acetyl groups of acetyl CoA molecule. Formation of each acetyl CoA requires removal of four hydrogen atoms from the fatty acid moiety by dehydrogenases. In the second stage of fatty acid oxidation, the acetyl groups of acetyl CoA are oxidized to carbon dioxide in the citric acid cycle, which also takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. Acetyl CoA derives from the fatty acids that enters a final common pathway of oxidation with the acetyl CoA, derived from glucose via glycolysis and pyruvate oxidation. The first two stages of fatty acid oxidation produce reduced electron carrier NADH and FADH2 which in the third stage donate electrons to the mitochondrial respiratory chain through which the electron pass the oxygen with the concomitant phosphorylation of ADP to ATP. The energy released by fatty acid oxidation is conserved as ATP. The first stage of fatty acid oxidation beginning with the simple case of saturated fatty acid chain with an even number of carbons. Then turning to the slightly more complicated cases of unsaturated and odd number of chain. The regulation of fatty acid oxidation, the beta oxidative process as they occur in the organelles other than mitochondria. Finally, two less generates modes of fatty acid catabolism, alpha oxidation and omega oxidation. The beta oxidation of saturated fatty acid. Four enzymes catalyst reactions make up the first stage of fatty acid oxidation. First, dehydrogenation of fatty acid CoA produce a double bond between alpha and beta carbon atom that is C2 and C3 yielding a trans enol CoA. The symbol deno designates the position of the double bond. The new double bond has the trans configuration whereas the double bond is naturally occurring unsaturated fatty acids are normally in the cis configuration. The first step is catalyzed by three isozymes of acyl CoA dehydrogenase each specific for a range of fatty acyl chain length. Very long chain acyl CoA dehydrogenase acting on fatty acids of 12 to 18 carbon, medium chain acting on fatty acids to 4 to, to, 4 to 14 carbons and short chain acting on fatty acids of 4 to 8 carbon. All three isozymes are flavor protein with FAD as the prosthetic group. The electrons removed from the fatty acyl CoA are transferred to FAD and reduced to form of the dehydrogenase immediately donates its electron to an electron carrier of the mitochondrial respiratory chain. The electron transferring flavor protein. The oxidation catalyzed by an acyl CoA dehydrogenase is analog to succinate dehydrogenase in the citric acid cycle. In both reactions, the enzyme is bound to the inner membrane. A double bond is introduced into 
a carboxylic acid between the alpha and beta carbon. FAD is electron acceptor and electrons from the reactions ultimately enters the respiratory chain and pass to oxygen with the concomitant synthesis of ATP molecule per electron pair. In the second step of beta oxidation cycle, water is added to the double bond of the trans-enyl CoA to form beta hydroxyacyl CoA. This reaction is catalyzed by enyl CoA hydratase it is formally analog to the fumarase reaction in the citric acid cycle in which water adds across of alpha beta double bond. In the third step, beta hydroxyacyl CoA is dehydrogenated to form beta ketoacyl CoA by the action of beta hydroxyacyl CoA dehydrogenase. NAD is an electron acceptor. This enzyme is absolutely specific for L stereoisomer of hydroxyacyl CoA. The NADH formed in the reactions donates its electron to NADH dehydrogenase an electron carrier of the respiratory chain and ATP is formed from ADP as the electron passed to oxygen. The reaction is catalyzed by beta hydroxy acyl CoA. Dehydrogenase is closely analog to the malate dehydrogenase reactions of the citric acid cycle. The fourth and the last step of beta oxidation cycle is catalyzed by acyl CoA acyl transferase. More commonly called thiolase which promotes reactions of beta keto acyl CoA with a molecule of free coenzyme A to split off carboxy terminal two carbon fragments of the original fatty acid as acetyl CoA. The other product is the coenzyme A thioester of the fatty acids. Now shortened by two carbon atom the reaction is called by thiolysis by analogy with the process of hydrolysis because beta keto acyl CoA is cleaved by reactions with thiol group of coenzyme A. The beta oxidation pathway in each pass through this four step sequence one acetyl residue is removed in the form of acetyl CoA from the carboxyl end of the fatty acyl chain in this example C16 which enters as palmitile CoA. The last three steps of this four step sequence are catalyzed by either of two sets of enzymes with the enzymes employed depending on the length of the fatty acyl chain. For fatty acyl chains of 12 or more carbon the reaction is catalyzed by multi enzyme complex associated with inner mitochondrial membrane that is trifunctional protein is an hetero octamer of alpha 4 beta 4 subunit. Each alpha subunit contain two activities the enyl CoA hydratase and beta hydroxy acyl CoA dehydrogenase. The beta subunits contain thiolase activity. This tight association of three enzymes may allow efficient substrate channeling from one active site to the next without diffusion of the intermediate away from the enzyme surface. When TFE has shortened the fatty acyl chain to 12 or fewer carbons. Further oxidation is catalyzed by set of four soluble enzymes in the matrix. The beta oxidation sequence of an elegant mechanism for destabilizing and breaking these bonds. The first three reactions of beta oxidation create a much less stable carbon carbon bond which alpha carbon is bonded to two carbonyl compounds. The ketone functions of beta carbon makes it good target for nucleophilic attack by SH of coenzyme A catalyzed by thiolase. The activity of the alpha hydrogen and the resonance stabilization of the carbon ion generated by the departure of this hydrogen making the terminal of CH2COS COA good living group facilitating breakage of alpha beta bond. The energy contribution of beta oxidation palmitic acid as 16 carbon undergoes 7 times and produce 8 molecules of acetyl CoA each time beta oxidation produce 5 ATP. Total number of ATP is formed through beta oxidation 7 into 5 that is 35. Total number of ATP formed on oxidation of acetyl CoA through 2 CA cycle 8 into 12 that is equal to 96. 
total 131 ATPs are produced, 2 ATPs utilized for initial activation of fatty acids that is minus 2, totally 129 ATPs are produced on beta oxidation. Next one the ferroxisome of also carry out beta oxidation. The mitochondrial matrix is the major site of fatty acids oxidation in animal cells but in certain cells other compartment also contain enzymes capable of oxidizing fatty acids to acyl CoA by a pathway similar to but not identical with that in the mitochondria. In plant cells the major sites of beta oxidation is not mitochondria but peroxisomes. In peroxisome membrane enclosed organelles of animals and plant cells the intermediate for beta oxidation of fatty acids are coenzyme A derivatives and the process consists of four steps as mitochondrial beta oxidation number one dehydrogenation addition of water to resulting double bond oxidation of beta hydroxy acyl CoA to ketone and thiolytic cleavage by coenzyme A. One difference between peroxisomal and mitochondrial pathway is in the chemistry of the first step. In peroxisome the flavoprotein acyl CoA oxidase that introduce the double bond pass electron directly to oxygen producing hydrogen peroxide. The strong and potentially damaging oxidant to immediately cleaved water to oxygen by catalase. In mitochondria the electrons removed in the first oxidation step pass through the respiratory chain to oxidation to produce water and this process is accomplished by ATP synthesis. In peroxisome the energy released in the first oxidative step of fatty acid breakdown is not conserved as ATP but dissipated as heat. Oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids require two additional enzymes enyl coa isomerase and 2,4 dienyl coa reductase. Odd number of fatty acids are oxidized by beta oxidation pathway to yield acetyl coa and molecule of propenyl coa. This is carboxylated to methyl melanyl coa which is isomerized to succinyl coa in a reaction catalyzed by methyl melanyl coa mutase. A enzyme required coenzyme B12. Next one metabolism of cholesterol. Cholesterol is an essential molecule in many animals including humans and is available easily through diet. Cells can also synthesize it from simple precursor. It is an ambibiotic lipid and as such as an essential structural component of membrane and the outer layer of plasma lipoprotein. It is synthesized in many tissues from acetyl CoA and the precursor of all steroids in the body such as corticosteroid, sex hormones, bile acids and vitamin D. As a typical product of animal metabolism, cholesterol occurs in foods of animal origin such as egg yolk, meat, liver and brain. The isoprene units that are essential intermediate in the pathway from acetate to cholesterol and are also precursors to many other natural lipids and the mechanism by which isoprene units are polymerized are similar in all this pathway. The first one it start from cholesterol is made from acetyl CoA in four stages. Cholesterol like long chain fatty acids made from acetyl CoA but assembly is a quite different. In early experiment animals were fed the acetate label with C14 in either the methyl carbon or the carboxyl carbon. Synthesis it takes place in four stages. First one condensation of three acetate units to form cis carbon intermediate that is mavalinate. Number two conversion of mavalate to activate to isoprene units. Number three polymerization of six five carbon isoprene units to form 30 carbon linear squalene. The fourth one is cyclization of squalene to form four rings of the steroid nucleus with the further series of changes that is oxidation, removal or migration of methyl group to produce cholesterol. The enzymes involved in cholesterol synthesis are found in cytosol and microsymal fractions of the cell. Acetate of acetyl CoA provides all the carbons in cholesterol. The reducing equivalents are supplied by 
NADPH while ATP provides energy. For the production of one molecule of cholesterol, 8 moles of acetyl CoA, 36 moles of ATP, and 16 moles of NADPH are required. The first stage is synthesis of mavalinate from acetate. The first stage in cholesterol biosynthesis leads to intermediate is mavalinate. Two molecule of acetyl CoA condenses to form acetostyl CoA which condenses with the third molecule of acetyl CoA to 6 carbon compound beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl CoA. Stage 2 conversion of mavalinate to, to activated isoprene. In the next stage of cholesterol synthesis shows 3 phosphate groups are transferred from 3 ATP molecule to mavalinate. The phosphate attached to C3 hydroxyl group of mavalinate in the intermediate 3 phosphate 5 pyro phosphate mavalinate is the good living group. In the next step, this phosphate and the nearby carboxyl group leave, producing a double bond in the 5 carbon product that is isopentanyl pyrophosphate. This is the first of the two activated isoprene central to cholesterol formation. Isomerization of isopentanyl pyrophosphate yield the second activated isoprene dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. Stage 3 condensation of 6 activated isoprene units to form squalene. Isopentanyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate now undergo a head to tail condensation in which one pyrophosphate group is displaced and 10 carbon chain that is geranyl pyrophosphate is formed. Geranyl pyrophosphate undergoes another head to tail condensation with isopentanyl pyrophosphate yielding 15 carbon intermediate that is farnesyl pyrophosphate. Finally, two molecules of farnesyl pyrophosphate join head to head with the elimination of both pyrophosphate group to form that is squalene. The stage 4 conversion of squalene to 4 ringing steroid nucleus. When the squalene molecule is represented the relationship of a linear structure to cyclic structure of the steroid becomes apparent. The first step in the sequence is catalyzed by mixed function oxidases for which the core substrate is NADPH. The product is an epoxide which in the next step cyclized to steroid nucleus. The final product of this reaction is animal cell is cholesterol. In other organisms, slightly different cereals are produced. The action of squalene monooxygenase adds to one oxygen atom from oxygen to end of squalene chain forming epoxide. This enzyme is another mixed function oxidase NADPH reduced the other oxygen atom of oxygen to water. The double bond of the product squalene 2, 3 epoxide are position so that remarkable constant reactions can convert to linear squalene epoxide to a cyclic structure. In animal cell this cyclization results in the formation of lanosterol which contain four ringing characteristics of steroid nucleus. Lanosterol is the finally converted to cholesterol in a series of about 20 reactions that include the migration of some methyl groups and the removal of others. Cholesterol is steroid, characteristics of animal cell, plants, fungi and process make other closely related to steroid. Instead, they are used same synthetic pathway as far as squalene 2, 3 epoxide at which point the pathway diverts slightly yielding other steroid such as sigma sterol in many plants, ergo sterol in fungi. Regulation of cholesterol synthesis is exerted near the beginning of the pathway at HMG CoA reductase step. The reduced synthesis of cholesterol in starving animals is accompanied by decrease in the activity of the enzyme. However, it is only hepatic synthesis that is inhibited by dietary cholesterol. HMG CoA reductase in liver is inhibited by mavalinate. The intermediate product of pathway on the cholesterol is the main product. Now, the summary, the first stage of beta oxidation, of, by beta oxidation, four reactions removal of each acetyl CoA unit from the carboxyl end of saturated fatty acyl CoA. The first step, dehydrogenation of alpha beta carbon by FAD linked acyl CoA dehydrogenase. 
second one hydration of the resulting trans double bond by enocoil hydroxylase the third step dehydrogenation of the resulting beta hydroxyacyl coa by nad link beta hydroxyacyl coa dehydrogenase and the fourth one coa requires cleavage of resulting beta ketoacyl coa by thiolase to form acetyl coa and a fatty acyl coa shortened by 2 carbon the shortened of fatty acyl coa then re enters the sequence in the second stage of fatty acyl oxidation the acyl coa is oxidized to carbon dioxide in the citric acid cycle a large fractions of the theoretical yield of free energy from fatty acid oxidation is recorded as atp by oxidative phosphorylation the final stage of the oxidative pathway melanyl coa and early intermediate of fatty acid synthesis inhibit carnitine acyl transferase 1 preventing fatty acid enters into the mitochondria this blocks fatty acid breakdown while synthesis occurring cholesterol is formed from acyl tail coa in a complex series of reactions through the intermediate beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl coa mavalinate and two activate isoprene dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate and isopentanyl pyrophosphate condensation of isoprene units produce the non cyclic squalene which is cyclized to ileo steroid ring synthesis and a side chain cholesterol synthesis under hormonal control and is also inhibited by elevated concentration of intracellular cholesterol which are act through covalent modification and transcriptional regulation mechanism